Good evening. I'm Alexis Walters. Well, during the height of the pandemic, health departments were mandated by the state government to get a job done no matter the time it took. For the Youngstown City Health Commissioner and several others on the health department, that meant working overtime and a lot of it. Today, Youngstown City Council held their finance meeting to talk about compensating those employees who are salary and typically not allowed overtime. Aaron Bishop, Youngstown City Health Commissioner, was on the Zoom call today, where council members discussed and questioned whether or not she and other members of the health department should receive and split $24,298 in overtime pay for their time worked during the pandemic. I know I'm salary, but when I was working every single day on weekends, 12 hour days, Saturday, Sunday, on the holidays, those were all being worked because. A lot of people didn't want to work because they were afraid. They didn't want to go and work the clinics because they were scared. However, some members of council have concerns. Anita Davis saying this is part of the job. I don't want to see us setting a new precedent, precedent um, providing the, the, um, a department head, a salaried individual, um, with this, kind of, with this uh, overtime pay. I think it's, uh, she's not supposed to get it. The city's law director says the duties Bishop and her colleagues performed were well above the job description and that he doesn't see this trickling down to other departments. I don't see any other departments being required to do work with regard to a pandemic. Uh, this is such a unique circumstance and it was work mandated by the state, by the government's order to, to do certain things. Bishop cited that in 2009 and 2010, salaried employees in the health department were granted more than $29,000 of overtime during the H1N1 crisis. This isn't something that I just came up with. This has been done before, and that's why I just feel that this was important. The money would come from grants given for COVID relief. It isn't an exception because there was an emergency order put on by the governor's office. So this was not something we pulled out and said, hey, let's just do it. Uh, we did it because we were in the middle of an emergency pandemic. Council is holding off on a decision. They plan to hold a special meeting with members of the Board of Health and research whether or not they are legally allowed to offer up that $24,000 in overtime to salaried employees.